Care Water Sports here with Alicia Del Valle, the beautiful Alicia Del Valle of Channel 7. Uh, you're here at the Carlos Quadras uh, Media Luncheon. I've seen you on uh, Instagram, your social media. You're a big boxing fan. So just <laughs> fan to fan, you know what I mean? I want to talk a little boxing with you. So first, let's talk about um, Carlos Quadras, this whole, this whole card. I mean, you got Triple G versus Jacobs. First, let's talk about Carlos Quadras. He's obviously coming off the Chocolatito loss, but it was a very close fight. Very close fight. Um, He's fighting a, a top guy who just fought in New Way, the Japanese fighter. Chocolatito is coming off, uh, or fighting the, the guy he won the championship from. Tell us what you thought about Chocolatito's and Quadras' first fight and what happens in the rematch. Well, the fight that the, he lost, which was very close, I was working a Ram show for ABC7, so I gave my tickets to my parents. And my dad, which is why I'm a huge boxing fan, really liked that fight. And he, I have... I've seen Chocolatito, Chocolatito fight before at the forum. That made me a huge fan. Not just his style, but the fans. I mean, I really like the environment of boxing. So long story short, I had to watch it afterward, after I knew the results. But it's the worst, um, right? I know. I try to like stay off I'm social like, media, all that. Like, don't talk to me. Don't tell me anything. <laughs> but you said yourself, I'm, I follow all of the writers. I follow right. everybody here. So yeah. it's kind of hard. But hard I, so yeah. I knew. Yeah. And... And again, I just, I love to see the passion, especially with Latino boxers. I mean, that's why they're so popular, is they bring that passion. Same thing with Irish boxers. What is yeah, that? No, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, we, we have that in common, for sure. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that environment, I don't know if your dad told you, but mm -hmm. there was, a, a, like, every Nicaragüense that, that lives in L.A. was in that building that night. It was, it was insane. Could you tell that on TV when you were watching? Well, again, I had to watch it taped, but uh, DVR. But um, yeah, I did, and and again, I had I've seen him fight before, and it was at the um, forum, and that's where I met a lot of his fans. I mean, the dancing, they dress up, plenty of women, like female boxers there, which is what I love because a lot of people still don't get that women. There are women who like sports, and there are women who are raised on boxing the way I was. So yeah, you could definitely. My dad was mentioning because he had not seen Chocolatito fight. But he knows his name and just follows him on TV. That was my dad's first fight. And he's now a fan as well. I mean, it's just that vibe. You can't. And we're fans of this one. I mean, what was he saying earlier? I'm fast, I'm strong, and I'm handsome. Very, very we handsome, love yeah. showmen. <laughs> this is boxing. And I'm sorry, I'm old school. I don't subscribe to kind of the, like, meaner. I'm like a Sugar Ray Leonard, Muhammad Ali, like... Remember um, Hector Macho Camacho? Like, yeah, I love playful. Yeah. Oscar de la Hoya. Like, just just brings the charm with their fists, you wow. know? And, and that's what that's what he reminds me of. Cuadras reminds me of not just a very strong, formidable fighter, but he brings the show. Right. <laughs> They're kind of like the, the everyman, but personable. Like, but they fight. It's like they choose to fight, right? Not so negative. Right. I mean, I just... You know, I won't say names. It sounds like hay feather, but I just, you know, some boxers. I was gonna say we know you're talking about. <laughs> some boxers just bring the sport down. I'm sorry, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate. I, I don't. My thing is, is I don't operate in hate. I love, like, if my my team is gonna play your team, I don't put your team down to bring my team up. I get there's that element in boxing. Like, if we were gonna fight right now, we chest to chest, right, right. shirts off. I get that. Yeah. But there is a way to do it where still, like the people recently going after parents and fathers and stuff, like I'm just, that's not, I'm still going to watch, but that's not my style. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, no, I get what you're saying. I'm still going to watch. <laughs> you said you grew up a boxing fan, yeah. your dad's a boxing fan, who was your favorite fighter growing up? Oh, well, when I was a little, little girl, I just remember Sugar Ray Leonard. Um, and I remember the women in my family loved Sugar Ray. <laughs> and, you know, I knew who Bobby Chacon was. Like, I just, I mean, I, I was probably too little to actually sit still every round. But then, you know, you saw the money, like the pulls that were made per round. And yeah. then it became, like, more important as I got older. Wow, yeah, it's like, hey, I have $3. Right? <laughs> yeah. And, of course, Tyson. I mean, you know, there's always someone that just dominates. And I know I'm, and I was raised to watch, like, well, so my dad talks about going to the, the, is it the Olympic or the, the Grand, Grand Olympic, the Grand yeah, Olympic? Yeah. Like those are the days, you know, when, when, and so, my grandpa on my mom's side, Laro, he served in the Korean War, U.S. Navy, and then he came back in LA and tried his hand at boxing. So it's like it's in my DNA, like you know. So um, and there's just a huge, like a long legacy of Mexicans, Latinos who 
follow boxing, support Noah Boxer. So Oscar De Loya is also a favorite boxer because he went to Garfield High like my dad did out of East LA. Not only that, but he lived on the same street that my dad grew up on, McDonald. And so I was not allowed to not be a De Loya fan. <laughs> From his Olympic trials on, you know, um, I, I don't know. I just, I, that, those are the first people that came to mind, but they're all bigger names. But fight night was such a huge night at my house. Just like, I mean, honestly, Latinos still carry pay-per-view, you know, it becomes a party. Who's fighting? Someone's going to get it. We all potluck and it becomes an event. Little kids on, so that's the tradition. Grandpas to little ones, so I, I I cherish that, and we still do that in my my home. So, but I will be in New York for this fight.